见好多人都嚟学，想知点解？要学识慢，先知点快噶。Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Isabella Rossellini, and this is my review of Bruce Lee, My Brother. Bruce Lee, My Brother was based on the recollections of his siblings and was, we are told in the beginning of the film, made without the participation of the estate of Bruce Lee, namely his widow and his daughter. That's a little weird, but it's not a deal breaker. First, I really enjoyed the cinematography. To be honest, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I thought the cinematography was great. I really enjoyed the cinematography of the film. Granted, occasionally it slipped into very obvious video, but most of the time it looked an awful lot like the old Shaw Brothers movies that we all know and love. And if you don't know and love them, start doing so immediately. It may be somewhat odd or unnecessary to show a story set in the past in the aesthetic that the movies of that time had, but I liked it and it was fun to watch. The same can be said for a lot of the exteriors and the sets. Some are obviously CGI, uh, like the panoramic view of Kai Tak Airport, which no longer exists but it was nice to see it just the same. Bruce Lee, my brother, creates a pretty convincing replica of 1950s Hong Kong, and the costumes are a big part of the reason it works. This could be a Wong Kar Wai film, except that people are smiling and moving. Seeing MC Jin dressed like his grandfather was especially funny, but only in the best sort of way. Trust us, we're here to help. Tony Leung Kafai turns in a really good performance as Bruce Lee's father. He's subtle, believable, and very entertaining, all in large amounts. The casting of Arif Lee as Bruce Lee was a little strange. He doesn't really look much like Bruce Lee, and he doesn't seem to behave much like him either. But he tries his best, and that's all I can really ask of actors. In his favor, he is being asked to do something impossible. To recreate one of the greatest action stars in film history. Nobody could be Bruce Lee, except Bruce Lee. Bruce's love interest in the film is played by Jennifer Tse Ting Ting and this was her first movie role. The camera likes Jennifer. She's also certainly pretty enough to convince us that Bruce Lee took one look at her and fell in love. Unfortunately for her, th this role is mishandled to a great extent by the director and the screenwriter. If she is indeed his love interest, you'd never know it by the way the film unfolds. She's present, but she's not really ever there. She's just kind of this weird apparition. Just somehow always out of reach. See what I mean? Bruce Lee, my brother, is a lot of fun to watch, but it's also a very flawed film in its own way. It is inescapably a product of its time because its flaws are not just cinematic, but didactic in nature. This film, like so many others in recent China-friendly film history, makes clumsy, interruptive assertions that Westerners and Japanese people are evil. Like all similar films released in recent memory, Bruce Lee, my brother, handles these issues with all the subtlety and grace of an epileptic juggler. Maybe a few years earlier or later, we wouldn't have to see one-third of the film's running time dedicated to assuaging China's self-esteem issue. That running time could have gone to something more constructive and interesting, like exposition, the romantic subplot, character development, story, or more cha-cha. Still, I have to say that there's a lot more to like about this film than to dislike. It's a lot of fun to watch. It has some very good acting. It has some fine cinematography and some really interesting sets. It's definitely worth watching, but if it's worth watching, then it's worth buying. Don't download this movie. Buy it. In the description, there are links. You can buy a DVD. You could buy a Blu-ray. I think it's a good idea that we buy movies because then the people that make the movies get the money and they can make more movies which we can then watch because we buy those too. You see how this works? Economics. If you enjoy my review, please leave me a comment. And if you didn't enjoy the review, leave me a comment and then go play in traffic. If you enjoy my reviews in general, I would really appreciate a subscription. 